Welcome to the Exit Coach Radio Show, the show for baby boomer business owners who are looking for cutting edge information as they plan their three to ten year business succession and exit. Every week we interview top professional advisors for their best tips, strategies, and precautions so you can be well planned. And don't miss our one minute Exit Coach tip of the day on ExitCoachRadio.com. And now, here's your host, the Exit Coach, Bill Black. Welcome and thanks for listening. I want to thank all of our listeners and remind you that we have interviewed hundreds, hundreds of advisors. Let's just say hundreds. There's, it's, it's over 300 now. Uh, it's interesting the perspectives we get from interviewing so many people. And we've archived all of it for you at ExitCoachRadio.com by topic. You can search by advisor. It's a great place to go and learn about topics uh, that are going to affect your future and your business. It's not just about strate- strategies and strategic exit planning. There are topics such as uh, uh, how to find an encore career, how to deal with aging parents, uh, how to deal with real estate issues for aging parents. But a lot of it is about the the things that go into running and operating and transitioning a business as an age 50-plus business owner. So please check that out, exitcoachradio.com. My guest today is Teresa Kuhn, and she's joining us from Living Wealthy Financial Group from Austin, Texas. And we're going to talk about banking on yourself, something called the infinite banking concept. Um, and using insurance, for instance, life insurance as an asset class and a foundational financial planning strategy. And you know there's all kinds of ways that you can help yourself and protect and grow for your future. So we're going to talk about one of those. And let's just dive into it. Teresa, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Bill. It's a pleasure being here. My pleasure to have you on the show. It's a really uh, great uh, great pleasure to meet you. How are things down in Austin, Texas? Hot. It's uh, it's hot, but that's what Austin and Texas is known for, right? Um, Hot weather, but good weather. Austin's great. Well, you know, that comes with the territory, I guess, but uh, has it been a, a tough summer? Uh, no, you know, overall it's been pretty pleasant. Um, our our mm-hmm. evenings here are always very nice, and uh, we had a nice, um, very nice long spring, but, you know, we're right in the middle of of uh, August, so it is, it is a bit hot. Though I want to commend you for, for what you've done with uh, your radio program and the guests that you have on and the value that you're bringing to business owners. It's fantastic absolutely fantastic oh, so kudos thank you very to you much. for what you're doing i appreciate the kind words it's been a, a passion of love and uh it, it really uh, it started off as just what i thought would be a, a fun project and it is a fun project I, i've just learned so much from it uh but it's really taken off and i really appreciate you coming on to the show Teresa. tell us a little bit about your uh background and give our listeners a sense of of who you are what you've done Okay. Well, I am President and CEO of Living Wealthy Financial Group. Uh, it is a what I consider a safe money. Um, we use safe money strategies um, with our clients, and primarily the bank on yourself, infinite banking concept. We use life insurance as an asset class for foundational financial planning. Um, I also do uh, and host a, a radio show here in Austin, Living Wealthy Radio. It's more of a lifestyle show, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, But my background, uh, I do have a a degree in finance. I also have a law degree. I did practice law for uh, several years. And um, shortly after the birth of my son, uh, about 18 years ago, Bill, I experienced what I could only describe as like an intellectual hard landing, you know, years of traditional schooling, including, of course, you know, years in, in law school and business school, convinced me that I had learned, you know, I had a really good understanding of what I needed to know about money and the legal system and politics. And I went to law school in D.C., practiced law um, there in D.C. and uh, in the capital of everything, right, the capital of the world. And um, I was pretty comfortable in my ignorance. I was happy being part of the herd, and I did everything, you know, very, very conventionally and certainly thought I knew as much as my peers uh, many of my peers in financial services, but as 
as life progressed and my career progressed, I began to have nagging doubts about my convictions and doubts that led me to wonder if perhaps everything I understood about how money worked um, was true. And uh, I felt like I had overlooked some crucial pieces of the puzzle. And, and probably because some of the clients or many of the clients that I had been working with had done um, their financial planning and had done it very, very conventionally, and they were concerned. You know, they had concerns about their financial planning, and I could see me looking, you know, forward 30, 40, 50 years, I was doing everything conventionally as well and thought, oh, my gosh, projecting myself out based on what the issues my clients are having, I'm going to have these same issues. So started looking outside of the box and um, – that's how I started working with the strategies that I work with today. So it, it was an awakening of some uh, of some sort that basically you didn't know as much as you thought you knew, or or some of the things that you were doing were just inefficient. Was that what it boiled down to? Not necessarily inefficient, but certainly um, not as um, you know. I was working and seeing clients who had done things conventionally. Basically, conventional financial wisdom wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. Okay, and I see. Who, who, so um started looking outside of the box and started seeing the world in a completely different way with greater insight and, and clarity than my rose-colored glasses had previously afforded me. And so I was able to um, develop a practice using certain strategies that – um, are have helped my clients um, have ability in their planning. Yeah, that makes sense. And you know, I know uh, for for many years uh, I, I was involved in insurance planning and in, and investment planning and things like that. And I understand some of the efficiencies, but I also understand a lot of people have some concerns. So let's get the, some of those out of the way. What are some of the the pushbacks you get when you say I want to help you? build your uh your your own bank using life insurance. Well, you know, really um I we don't lead with the insurance part, right? It, we lead with what the objectives and the resources are for our clients. Everything that we do is very very personal. And I certainly don't get referred to to a client. In fact, I, I can tell you we have hundreds and hundreds of clients we deal with. Um, we work with a lot of business owners. And in the last 12 months alone, Bill, we've had over 250 referrals from our existing clients, um, which great. is tremendous. It's, it's, um, I'm really, really humbled and, and thrilled that I can say that. And, and since we started tracking, it's well over 450 referrals that we've gotten from our clients. And it's because we, we don't lead with, you know, product. We lead with what is the client looking for. And typically what, what our clients are looking for when we first meet is predictability in their planning. They're, they have concerns about their future and concerns about where their existing financial plans are going. And based on those concerns and objectives, if we've got a strategy that can work with them, great. If we don't, then we refer them on. Um, so once we determine what it is that our clients are trying to accomplish, many times the strategies that we, we use, which is whole life insurance, um, that's really the, the, the number one strategy I work with, um, meets many of their objectives. And our clients are surprised that, that that's the case because they've heard so many terrible things about whole life insurance, right? Well, that, that's what I was kind of getting at was that insurance is a huge word. It's a huge word. It means you could you could have 10 different people and ask them what they think about insurance, and some of them are thinking about what they pay for auto insurance, and some of them are thinking about what they, you know, they know somebody that got an insurance claim check, and some of them, you know, it, it just bought, some of them just, I always heard you only buy term insurance. So it, it's all across the board, and I guess what I was getting at there was there's probably some myths and some, um, uh, misplaced concerns in some of this when you talk to somebody and say we're going to use a whole life policy insurance policy to develop wealth for you you there must is. get some there, kind there of tends. some kind of a look <laughs> oh, you know, oh absolutely so 
so but when when we determine what the objectives are right for the clients and we say okay so if i could do this for you and i could do this for you and i could do this for you which you've just said you wanted um are you are, are you interested oh absolutely well i can do all of these things with a very specially designed whole life policy. We use very, very specific designs, Bill, with very specific companies to accomplish um, what what our clients' objectives are. Uh, and so these are, you know, known in the industry as bank on yourself policies or infinite banking concept policies. Um, but it's extraordinary mm-hmm. what these can do for our clients. And um, yes, they're very surprised. I do invest oh. A great amount of of money and resources in our clients when it comes to education. Uh, I provide my clients uh, with reading materials and books, and you know I've got some clients that'll read one book or two books and say, "Okay, I get it," right? And I've got other clients who say, "Bring it on." And I've got a whole library of books that I share with my clients because once they're educated, once they understand that what conventional financial wisdom says about whole life insurance isn't accurate and they can see what these strategies can do for them, they are so excited that they refer their friends and family. Um, And like I said, in the last 12 months, over 250 referrals from our existing clients. Well, one thing you said, and I want to point this out for our listeners, is that um, there are policies that can be specially designed to accumulate much better than maybe what you would get without that objective. So you have to be careful in the world of insurance. It's like a huge tool shed. There are a lot of tools in the tool shed. There are a lot of varieties and ways to design insurance products. And you really need to be careful to work with specialists who know that they're going to help you develop a, a special design that's going to work just for you. Is that is that fair to say, Teresa? Absolutely 100% correct, Bill. It's There are so many different products and policies and designs out there and uh, I I work with you know a specific type in fact this is 99% of my practice my firm does more bank on yourself business than any other firm out there and we've done so for the past four years in a row Um, we we do a lot of business this is all that we do we train others other advisors in what we do um, this is our specialty. It's a very narrow niche, um, and many of my business owners, my clients, you know, have a whole table of advisors. Um, they've got their investment advisor, right. and they have their uh, CPAs and their attorneys, and I sit in that table. And I have a very narrow focus, but I'm very, very, very good at that narrow fo- focus, and my clients depend on me to help them with you know, their safe money strategies. So give us an example of what a a specially designed whole life policy can provide to an individual in in terms of of benefits that that meet their goals like we're talking. Obviously, everybody has different goals, but let's say they're thinking about, I want to accumulate wealth. I want to protect my family if anything happens to me. I want to have tax-free income down the road. Can these policies do all of that? Absolutely. Um, They can also give them safety and liquidity. Um, a lot of flexibility as far as liquidity is concerned. Uh, I have clients that use their cash value and their policies to um, borrow money for um, capital equipment, for um, cash infusion in their business, to buy real estate, to pay for college, to help fund their retirement. Many times we're able to do this income tax-free. They're able to take out the money income tax-free. Uh, we work with policies that enable their clients' money. Even though they've accessed the money, they're able to, because of how the, the policies work and the companies we work with, that money can continue to work for them at the same time, which I know sounds fantastic, but um, for those who dig a little deeper, um, know that it's absolutely true how, how that can work, right? And, and so really, bottom line, Bill, we we give our clients a rock-solid foundation for their finances using these strategies. And you know, in, in, in your years of being in the investment world, emotions, um, three key emotions, I think, um, uh, control investing more than anything. That's fear, 
That's greed and that's optimism. When you take the emotions out of the equation, people become better investors by our clients having a rock-solid foundation, knowing that no matter what, they've got an asset class where their money is going to grow. No matter what happens in Wall Street, no matter what happens in real estate or the economy, it enables them to become better investors and not to be guided or ruled by their emotions. And that's so Mm -hmm. important. Yeah, there's there's plenty other things in life to be emotional about than than watching the day, the nightly news and seeing if your money's going up or down. And a lot of people are tired of that roller coaster. So there's certainly a place for that. And the other thing is, uh, people are looking for yield in a in kind of a yieldless world right now. And the banks and the the financial institutions aren't helping them. So do these policies provide uh, a reasonable rate of return on them? Absolutely. Obviously. They- uh, mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. And and you know our clients are very surprised when they learn what that rate of return is. And since many many times we can set up these policies to grow income tax-free and they're unable to uh, access the money income tax-free, um, the the return when matched up against, you know, typical retirement plans um, and the unknown with the growth there, it, it's very, very attractive. Yeah, it's, it's always been a curious point to me, um, and for our listeners, for their benefit, when you look at big companies, I'm talking about Fortune 500 companies, and they set up these supplemental compensation plans for their executives, uh, they could use whatever they want out there. They're, they're, they're a little bit restricted from some tax laws, but they always turn to these uh, life insurance policies that are specially designed because, and, you know, obviously they have good advisors. They're, they're, they're vetting this thing pretty importantly but they're getting this combination of tax benefits and cost recovery, which may not be important to an individual, but to protect the family, it's a completion. If if you're saving for retirement in your 401k and you drop dead, your family gets what, whatever you put in. But with some of these policies, you get much more through the, the tax-free death benefit, right, Teresa? Oh, absolutely. And what you just said regarding um, these companies and, and Wall Street, insiders they are using these policies all the time these these specially designed policies and for many many of my clients um these the strategy these policies are an addition to what they're doing it's not either or it's not oh i'm going to put all of my eggs in this one basket it's i'm going to build my foundation or have some money in this asset class and i'm also going to continue to invest and i'm also going to have real estate and and you know if something happens to me my family will be protected and my my estate plan will be completed this adds uh to um someone's portfolio. It does not take away. It gives them an element of safety, liquidity, flexibility, control, tax advantages. You know, many of, if not almost all the issues that your listeners um, and the audience out there have. Yeah. One, One of the, I think probably everybody out there listening either knows somebody or has personally bought an insurance policy from somebody that was maybe uh, green, uh, you know, not not very educated or desperate and needed to uh, design a policy that created a large commission or something like that, and and they were sorely disappointed years later. But we're talking about a whole different ballgame here. We're talking about, again, the special design um, where, where you can get faster accumulations and easier access and all those types of things, correct? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, cash value up front um, is very, very generous. The first year, extremely generous. Um, yeah. So our, our clients are very, very surprised. I have clients who will start their policy and, and take out um, money, borrow money from their policies the first month. And the conventional way of designing these policies, that's not possible. Yeah, you'd never be able to do that. So so keep your mind open, listeners, and and take a look at different types of strategies out there. Don't give up on some of these because there are some good strategies uh, in some of these products and policies. Teresa, if someone were to ask you for three tips, ideas, or precautions when they're exploring this topic, what would you tell them? Um, 
be open to information that's out there. There, there are I have many great resources that I can share with people that can open their mind. You know, if they've got an open mind, that can educate them as to how life insurance can be used as an asset class and very, very specific type of, of life insurance. Um, to make sure they understand that um, just using one vehicle like a 401k or an IRA to fund retirement um, may not be wise. And um, paper wealth is meaningless when it comes to financial security. Um, you know, there's a great line in the the movie The Wolf on Wall Street when Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt McConaughey are having lunch, right? Um, well, actually, that whole scene is just a great scene as to some insight on what paper wealth really means. And uh, mm-hmm. I think that's very, very important for listeners to, to consider when they're thinking about their future and they're planning for their future. Absolutely. Well, those are great tips and, and precautions for people. And, you know, it's a big it's a big world of a lot of financial tools, and you just need to keep an open mind sometimes, but uh, but also be cautious. Now, tell us a little bit about your radio program. Well, uh, Living Wealthy Radio is a, a lifestyle show, uh, and I designed it that way, even though I work with money. Um, I have a lot of uh, different interests when it comes to health and relationships, and so I started the show um, Living Wealthy Radio, and the tagline is because wealth is much more than money. You know, we all know so many people Mm -hmm. who have worked their entire lives, right, and exchanged wealth for their health, um, and then they spend the last 10, 15 years of their lives exchanging wealth for health, and Steve Jobs you know, perfect example. He had all the money in the world, but he didn't have his health. And so it's a lifestyle show, some alternative information. Um, do talk a little bit about politics and money and um, relationships and health. And uh, it's a great show, like you. I love the medium of radio. I love interviewing interesting people uh, all the time and sharing the information uh, with others. So it's yeah, a lot I can of fun. tell you have a real passion. Sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like a great listen. And our listeners can uh, go to your website at livingwealthyfinancial.com and find out more? Yes. Yeah, so that's our that's our business website, and the radio website is livingwealthyradio.com. It does air oh. here in Austin, um, but we also have the podcast and an online Great. presence. So. Terrific. And you have a, a, a book called The Secret to Financial Success that is available for our listeners? Yes, that is available, and I actually have another book that's coming out here shortly, another couple books, so um, using using all the mediums out there to communicate, or at least trying to. I love it. Well, that's great. It's, it's great to talk with you, and, and uh, really interesting what you're doing, and I implore our listeners to, again, uh, find out more about these types of strategies, because you have to look at everything these days. You, you know, you just don't trust Putting the money in the bank and getting zero yield isn't a really a good path to anywhere, and the market's risky, so so be careful. Teresa, thanks very much for joining us. It's been a real pleasure. Hope we can get deeper into some of these topics in another time. Would love that, and Bill, thank you so much for, for what you've done. This is such an amazing platform for business owners. Um, so uh, just uh, so much great, great, great information and outstanding outstanding guests that you have. So um, really, I applaud you for, for what you've accomplished and done so far. Oh, I, I, again, I, I really appreciate it. Our, our guests have been amazing, and you're just another one of those amazing guests. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to listening to your show and, and hearing more about, uh, because you're right, uh, you know, life is so, so much more, wealth is about so much more than just money. It, it's, it's, it's a life well lived. And so, Teresa, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Bill. Take care. I've I've been talking with Teresa Kuhn of Living Wealthy Financial Group in Austin, Texas. And we're going to take a short break, and then we're going to wrap up today. So please stay tuned for just a minute. You're listening to ExitCoachRadio.com, the show for age 50-plus business owners. We're interviewing over 250 professional advisors for their tips, ideas, 
and precautions so you can be well planned. We upload new 20-minute interviews and one-minute highlights every day at ExitCoachRadio.com. Come listen for a minute. That's going to wrap it up for our brief show today. I want to thank our guest, Teresa Kuhn, for joining us and enlightening us about some of the financial instruments that are out there that sometimes we might just push aside because we've had a bad experience or we don't know all of the ins and outs of it. So please, uh, you know, listen to our guests, gather their wisdom, take action, uh, look at their website.